Welcome back my YouTube family. In today's video, I will be giving you my impressions of this Kingsford charcoal chimney starter. I can honestly say that I did not know that I actually needed this. I've been barbecuing for years. I mean for years and I didn't even know this thing existed. So uh, we're going to see how it works. Basically, you put the charcoal inside of the chimney and then um, put some paper or something at the bottom of it, light it, and it's supposed to get your charcoals nice and even and hot before you actually put them in the grill. So I had been struggling getting my grill up to 400, 425, 450, um, that range that you need to basically cook chicken relatively quickly on the grill. So I would always um, take about an hour to cook my chicken. So I'm gonna see how this thing works. It direct, directions doesn't say use lighter fluid, but I am gonna use lighter fluid because that's what I'm used to. Those that watch my channel know that I'm a little extra, so probably didn't need any lighter fluid at the bottom there, and definitely don't need a torch to actually light a grill. But hey, the fire is going, we'll see. So this is my first time using this. Um, the, after three minutes, I didn't see any more fire. I'm so used to when I am have my charcoal in the grill in a TP configuration that I keep that fire going so I can get the coals um, grayed over and I know that they're hot. Uh, but again, um, I'm just watching this and it seems like it's doing something. So after about 10 minutes, I noticed that the top charcoals wasn't necessarily catching. So here I go again with that lighter fluid. Now at the bottom it might be doing something different, but again, this is my first time. So those who know, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what I did wrong or what I did right. Um, so looking at it, the fire is going, but I can see at the bottom there is red. And so that is exciting to me. I know that that charcoal is going, but again, after about 15 minutes, I still don't have the um, charcoal at the top. So I light it again and this time, it really took off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's doing something there. So we're about 20 minutes in now. I think this thing is ready. So let's see. You definitely wanna use a mitt um, cause this thing is hot. Like I can feel the heat coming out of this and you can see those um, hot charcoals. Um, it's looking really, really, holy crap. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Now that is, oh Lord have mercy, that's hot tough. Yeah, so I'm dumping this out and um, so far I can really see the difference between my old method and this one. Um, as I'm trying to move these coals around, the heat that's coming out of here is hot. I mean like really, <laughs> really hot. So I have to keep taking breaks to um, get it distributed. Now I typically would do a 70-30 configuration, 70% of my charcoals on one side, 30% on the other side. That way um, I have two different cooking zones just in case things get too hot, I got a rescue area. I would typically need about 15 to about 25 minutes for um, my charcoal to sit for the grill to get hot. Um, as you can see, the temperature now is rising just after about five minutes to 375, which is great. And literally within about 10 minutes, I was at 450 um, degrees. So I think it's getting hot a little, you know, too quick. So I'm gonna close off the airflow just a little bit by closing the top vent and then also going down to the side vent and closing that off some. So I had set a 15 minute timer, um, but this grill is ready. Like it's hot. The, the grills is hot and it's ready to go. So let's see. That's it. That's that sizzle. Yes. So after closing the lid, one minute later, it's already up um, 300 degrees. Um, stayed about 400 degrees throughout the whole cook. 
We had marinated this chicken prior to, so the grill was probably a little too hot, kind of scored the outside, but it's not burnt at all. Um, yeah, cooked this chicken within uh, 20 minutes, I think, that I had it on. Um, turned out great, and so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Eight. So all in all, this thing um, is it's great. The grill stayed hot for about two hours. I'm pretty sure that I put too much lighter fluid in it starting off. But look, for $15, this thing is really great. I never really even knew that I needed it. But after using it, it's definitely the way that I will be lighting my grill from now on. Um, lessons learned, probably put too much lighter fluid in it, probably left it on for too long. But all in all, it's a really, really good product. Um, I really appreciate you all sticking around for this video. If you haven't subscribed, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment in the comment section. Hit that bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, I really appreciate you all. Until the next time, eight.